for now. She is from the great state of Wyoming, where I have family members. How are you? Congressman? I'm very well, Clem. You know, very well. Thanks for having me on your show. You bet. People out in the Wyoming, Montana, Idaho area, they just uh, they have just kind of a different attitude and they use common sense an, uh, an awful lot. You are affected by the ethanol there in Wyoming. This thing has been a scam, I contend, from the very beginning. Burning up our food supply never made sense. But now it's falling apart. Why? Well, Congress substituted its judgment for the marketplace. In 2005, uh, Congress decided to require that 10 percent of fuels uh, be ethanol, and ethanol garnered from corn. Uh, when you convert corn to ethanol, it consumes as much energy as the new product produces in energy. So it's inefficient, it's expensive, and quite frankly, it doesn't burn as well as oil and gas. Now, they were well-intentioned, but when you try as a member of Congress to substitute your judgment for the wrong, and in fact, they did. So here, I, I have to ask you, first of all, do you vote for the stimulus package? Oh, no. Okay, good. Yeah, you're in the house. Nobody did. Okay. Here's, here's what I just, I, I, I don't understand. The same people who say, yeah, burn up your food supply, it's going to be fantastic. Every time Congress does, as you just pointed out, substitutes their, their own gut and their own wisdom for the markets, it turns out wrong. Money like it's going out of style. Is, are there, is there anybody there in Washington that is walking the hallways? I mean, can you grab a bunch of people in the hallways and just go, hey, guys. No, that doesn't work. When will they learn their lesson? Well, sometimes I feel a little bit like the man in Tenement Square who is standing in front of the tank uh, shouting no. Caucuses were not the first in the presidential lineup. Uh, consequently, now some of the responses that are being considered to this are to say, well, more of the blend coming from ethanol, not 10 percent, but maybe 12, 14, or 16 percent. So we're compounding our substitution of our judgment in the marketplace for something oh, even, no. even worse. It, it, it's tremendously I have frustrating so, I, around here. I have so much more to talk to you about on energy, but I've, I've, unfortunately, because we had to take that press conference, I've run out of time, but we will have you back. Thank you so much, Congresswoman. A couple of weeks ago, I told you that uh, I thought we ought to secede from California.